Prominent Nigerians are calling for Onandi Kanu Igboho to be given amnesty by the federal government. Urge Muhammad Buhari to ensure this is done immediately. If you don't, you will divide the country even further. Muhammad Buhari's administration has divided Nigeria like no other administration. And um, prominent Nigerians are saying, why not give them amnesty? If you do, you'll be positioning yourself, being seen as somebody who understands the people. Look at what late Maru Yaradua did in, you know, when he was the president. Niger Delta, he gave amnesty to those men who were, you know, destroying pipeline and the rest. And guess what? It, it just, everything, you know, get, get, got a natural calm. And, uh, you know, there was so much peace after the whole incident. He made a program for them. And today you can know that Omaru Yaradua was not that person who wants to, you know, ensure that there was division. He was more a peace lover than somebody who was bringing, uh, you know, the dividing the people. So, is Buhari going to listen to this call? Since he came, more people have died more than any other administration. In fact, this uh, they call this administration. They say this administration is a, is a, is is an administration of a democracy, but really, truly, it's not a democratic administration. It's an evil administration. To be quite candid, it's not a democratic administration. It's more dictatorship than any other administration. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. Grant. Nandi Kano, Sunday Igboho amnesty. Federal government urged to do it immediately. President Muhammad Buhari has been urged to grant amnesty to both the leaders of the indigenous pool of Biafra, Mazel Nandi Kano, and the leader of the Yoruba Nation Agitator, Chief Sunday Igboho, aka Sunday Adeyemo, aka Sunday Igboho, a Lagos based social political activist and societal group chief ade sumbo gave his advice in a statement signed in lagos yesterday he said he pointed out that there were too many problems confronting the nation that urgently needs to be handled and tackled correctly and right he pleaded with the federal government we demonstrate democracy and so we show our love to the people grant them their wishes and listen to the people. The president, Muhammad Buhari, and the federal government is ple should please grant amnesty to Onandi Kanu, an IPOB leader, in the interest of peace in the entire country. This call is in line with the amnesty granted to the Niger Delta militant and recently, and recently the bandits who are still committing atrocities in the nation. The loud agitation in the country, in all parts of the country, are a result of serious injustice in our system, lopsided appointments caused by this very present administration. We cannot address them with an iron hand or iron fist by doing these things and saying all is well. Definitely all is not well. We need to ensure that things are done decently and in order so people can live at peace. He also advised President Muhammad Buhari to address the agitation in the country. You are facing the north. You are facing you are facing the north against the south and the west. It's a shame that the southern governors, none of them are speaking to protect their people. So, my people, this is what is happening. A group has come up to say Muhammad Buhari needs to do the needful to ensure safety of Onandi Kano and Sunday Boho and grant them amnesty because people are watching you see the world is watching everybody is aware of what is going on keep deceiving yourself that uh, oh nothing uh they committed a crime what crime did they commit what crime exactly did they kill somebody your own people that kills people what did you do you say you were doing them repentant bandits today what repentant bandits are we experiencing what repentant bandits they have destroyed more life than you can ever imagine things have gone from bad to worse yet you tell us they are repentant bandits so there is serious there is serious uh, you know reason for things to be done decently or in order otherwise we cannot keep quiet and say everything is well all is not well though. all is not well there is serious cause for concern with regards to all that is happening now we all have to stand up 
and defend our cause of unity together. We all have to stand up to ensure that we are not opposed, oppressed, but we allow, you know, for transparency. We allow for unity. If ever there's going to be one Nigeria, everybody must stand up together as one. We cannot allow these things to be happening. There is serious cause for concern. You know, the country is wallowing. You know, there is so much going on and uh, a lot of persons are not happy to be quite candid. Is that how you're going to go about it? Everyone that speaks, everyone that says they are not happy, you deal with them, you cause trouble. Is that how you're going to go about it? Is that how you're going to solve the problem? Is that how you're going to ensure that there is safety in the land? When you have not addressed the insecurity in the north, when you have not addressed what is going on, is that how you're going to go about it? Adoption of children, babies in the hospital, students being adopted, Kaduna State where the, the chief of whatever is there, is that how you're going to go about it? So when you look at everything, you understand that there is serious cause for concern. Muhammad al-Buhari and his likes are the one making this country to bleed. And everybody is quiet watching. You know, it's wrong. You know, it's wrong. It's very, very wrong. Nigerian government is going after Yahoo Yahoo boys, telling the nation that they are Yahoo Yahoo boys. But you yourself, you are the real Yahoo Yahoo. That's what we are talking about. Nigerian government is the real Yahoo Yahoo, the real one. That's the real. I mean, do you know how much they steal with their biro and paper? Do you have a clue how much they, they, they steal? I don't think we, we even have. I mean, the way things go are going. Oh. I, I can't begin to, I can't begin to, you know, uh, I can't begin to quantify how bad things have gone. It is important that Nigerians understand that we have a tyrant, somebody who is out to destroy the nation rather than bind the nation as the president of the country. It's quite a sad phenomenon, but yet it's happening. It's quite sad, but it is really happening, you see. So, I mean, life will continue, but we need to get things right so that there are no, you know, injustice and evil going on. We must continue to do the right thing. We must continue to ensure that there is unity, there is peace in every land. You know, the North, the South want out because the presidency is not, you know, encouraging the people. You know, they, 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 are, they are rather destroying rather than building. Leave us a comment. We really like to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can get all our latest news. Don't forget that you have a voice. Do let it count. God bless you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Bye for now. Bye.